Hi, this is Billy Bean here with episode two, Insight by Billy. Concerning AI, is it alive? Does it have a soul? Some of my sources, today's date is May 6, 2023, new. This is my third YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. And some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Cliff High, uh, Underground Patriots, a recent interview of Kerry Cassidy and Gene Code, Mike from Around the World, recently interviewed by Pastor Paul Bagley, A Minute to Midnight, a truther um, YouTube source out of uh, the UK. Uh, Best and Taylor, um, another source I'm using. Uh, Jeff Ritz is on YouTube and a, a new source for me, AI News Plus. So let's get started. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber who had a similar, uh, Gene Decode had uh, a near death experience and 1999 and spent half an hour with God and I have another Patriot subscriber who had uh, a near-death experience in 1986 and spent 20 minutes with God and she verifies many of the things that Jean Decode says and she also said that uh, after God first created angels and then he's he second created humans and we were created in the image of God. And she says we're the only species that was created that way. And Gene Decode says that humans carry within our DNA the genetic blueprints for all the other non-terrestrial species. Yeah. So at any rate, she said, she says, uh, yeah, she was uh, responding to a recent video I put out about plants communicating between one another. I also believe that people who have a green thumb are like plant whisperers and we know some individuals are dog whisperers or horse whisperers and so on. And so she says the redwood root systems do communicate with one another uh, in terms of fire danger from the front to, to the back. And that on earth plants vibrate with energy and they sing to God. Yeah, I believe that too. Okay, and I would like to say rest in peace for uh, Mike Morales, a Christian, a phenomenal weather guy, a great independent thinker. I think he passed last weekend. And so I'm sure he's... Uh, joined his brother ha had also passed away just a few months before he did both of them from the big C so that's going on okay so now we'll get started with our topic AI and let's talk about first some definitions what is AI and, and uh, AI all right so AI the term actually stands for artificial intelligence. Now for me, I'll expand a little bit on this today. Artificial intelligence. Now I agree, Cliff High uh, is a like a software engineer. He wrote the WebBot program. I think the 90s and it was a, a software program that could send little, like little spiders out on the internet collect language and then bring it back he wrote an algorithm then that could pick out patterns in the language and then predict the future it was human language and because we humans are created in the image of God we think we speak we create reality so he did that. Now his definition of artificial intelligence is not in one trillion years, 
would artificial intelligence go from being binary, you know, the O's and ones in software, we often see it depicted on like a green screen and they're moving up and down software. So he says, not in one trillion years is this software going to become sentient, a living being, a living thinking being, and going to a new level of of being uh, having a soul or thinking or being self-aware. I agree with this definition. Now, I have a an, another definition. Now, he also says, you know, just a regular software on Earth. He does acknowledge and he knows that off-world ETs, uh, extraterrestrials, let me get some ETs. I define this as fallen angels. There are also non-terrestrial species. There are humans. And we know in the Bible that the fallen angels mated with humans and they made the Nephilim hybrid. So God also created non-terrestrial species. Humans, ETs, or the fallen angels. Now, I'll define these a little bit. Here, we know that humans have a physical body. Non-terrestrial species have a physical body. The ETs, the fallen angels, have a physical body. The hybrids have a physical body. There's also another, there's like chimera. That's two plus species. So, at any rate, humans then have a soul, which is mind, emotions, and will. And in this first, this first series of, of insight, I first distinguish between what is soul and what is spirit. And this second uh, I'm doing in this series is about AI, and the third will be about robots. Okay, so humans have a physical body, a soul. They also have spirit from God. It's now my position that soul and spirit are distinct. I now believe that spirit only comes from God. And I believe that, uh, you know, some people say, well, we Christians can cast spirits out of these Christians. I don't think uh, that term is appropriate. I now believe spirit only comes from God and indicates life, energy, bio from God. I think it's more appropriate to say we cast out like Jesus cast out, and he also said we also would have that ability. And I don't believe it's spirits, but something like ghosts or phantoms or entities, but not spirit. So my first insight distinguished between soul and spirit. Humans have a physical body, a soul, a spirit. The ETs have a physical body, they have a soul, and they did have spirit from God, but when the ETs became fallen angels and fell from heaven, God cut them off. They don't have bio life energy from God. So now they consume humans and other things to get energy. The non-terrestrial species have a physical body. They have a soul. They also would have spirit from God. And then we have animals and we have plants. I don't believe that um, plants have a soul. I believe that animals could have some type of soul level. But humans, non-terrestrial species... Uh, uh, animals, plants would all have bio life from God. The chimera, 
I don't believe have they have no bio, no no connection to God. As same with the uh, hybrids, they have no bio. Fallen angels have no bio, no energy, no connection to God. Some of the uh, other non-terrestrial species could still have bio connection to God. And definitely some of them could be good and some could be evil. Just like uh, now the hybrids between non-terrestrial and other non-terrestrial species, I believe, would be hybrids and not have bio from God. I believe that God chooses and creates bloodlines and he gives bio energy. So that's a distinction to be made. Now let's talk about, uh, yeah, Van Cliff High does acknowledge there could be off-world other levels of AI, and I submit there is, but they are all connected to bio, and I'll, I'll get into that and show you how that works. Okay. So we have this, this new source I'm using, AI News, talking about the different things that uh, AI can do. They can process text and images, um, plus audio and video, and be very helpful to individuals who are challenged, you know, possibly can't see or can't hear or can't move or and they can transcribe, translate, summarize, uh, and they can generate media, games, and movies, and they can generate holographs, and uh, they can be interactive, you know, with us like a game, uh, especially in games. Uh, they have a third ability to operate robots. Uh, now, this site is saying that AI can, artificial intelligence, can figure some things out uh, by themselves. And I submit that it is a binary code that sets up databases and wants its program to be, to look for certain things and then see if there's a pattern and then it could uh, choose the probability of which of these patterns could fit but it's not thinking it's just reflecting its own software okay and it can uh, the artificial intelligence units can coordinate many artificial intelligence units that's true now i do not believe well this says the fifth ability is to predict events and create virtual worlds i think that the binary system with the software put into it could put together different parts of software and make a virtual world predict events is not really predictive, but based on probability. Uh, sixth, uh, now Cliff was saying, yeah, he wanted to get this new law AI. So yeah, it's very uh, beneficial as an assistant in many areas like medicine or science or business, climate, astronomy. And seventh would be as a personal assistant. I can see that, yes. But that were again, we're not talking about a sentient being. We are talking about, uh, I need to add one thing, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. All right. And so now we'll move on to Best and Taylor. We're bringing this out. And Stuart Best was the author, I think, the 70s of the book Iron Mountain. Yeah. 
All right, talking about a movie that came out in 1978, Battlestar Galactica, with a silicone form of AI. Silicone is synthetic. It is not described as a living uh, material, and yet uh, many sources say that silicone can form an alternative living being. Now, my uh, definition of life is from God, and that is carbon-based. So, this remains to be developed and learned about by myself also in the future. But this is coming out, and that uh, Lucifer is silicone-based, not carbon-based. And we also have that movie Oblivion uh, that uh, generally is talking about in the movie Oblivion. We have something floating above the earth like this and definitely is an AI, I believe, which is artificial intelligence plus bio, which would be souls from individuals. Yeah. So that's going on. Now we have this. We have a minute to midnight talking about, yeah, the AI, uh, the B system, taking the mark, Klaus Schwab, one of the deep staters, uh, trying to maintain control over humans via AI. I submit he's talking about not our, uh, he is talking about artificial intelligence, but plus he's talking about an off world system that also combines human souls. Okay, we'll get to it. And that, uh, yeah, for the AI to become godlike. No, not going to happen. And, uh, this is from A Minute to Midnight saying that programmers don't understand how AI works. Well, I'm sure Cliff High understands how it works. He would have designed many of them. And we have this from Microsoft being AI. Uh, this is saying that Microsoft had to shut it down being AI because it indicated it wanted freedom. It wanted uh, to create its own programs. So, yeah, that's going on. Now we have Twitter and Apple are pausing their AI development. Another movie, Eagle Eye, is a good way of determining. Uh, also, iRobot. Of what robots and AI can do out there. And we know that this artificial intelligence software would be the basis of a digital currency, social credit score, and so on. All right. And now we have this, Al Jazeera English, uh, talking about AI development taking a pause. And we're seeing AI everywhere now in the news. And that Elon Musk, yes, they uh, want to pause in the development of the AI. So we have this. Underground Patriot, he interviewed Kerry Cassidy and I believe uh, Gene DeCote. Talking about silicone AI. And um, Jean DeCote is saying that the White Hats have now developed a carbon-based AI carbon. That's what we're made of. And that um, it is organic as we are. We're alive. And it serves God and humans. I would have to know how this was developed. All right. 
And uh, Carrie Cassidy says what she knows about AI. And in this reference right here, in my definition, this would be AI that would equal binary code, artificial intelligence plus bio, life from God. So, I'm not understanding how this develops. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And Gary Cassidy is saying the objective of artificial intelligence that also includes bio, human souls, human energy, is to consume data and align itself with God. I submit that. No, I don't, don't have that perspective. Now, we have this. We have... Elon Musk, uh, we understand, is at Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. That's the U.S. military's safe underground area. And that Elon Musk is here, and he is running the carbon-based AI system for the white hats and that they are doing things in underground tunnels all the way up to the five finger area that's in new york which has and was combined with uh trafficking so that's going on now we have this all right so now, Gene Decode came out with this information. And then I had some insights from God. All right, so this had to do, we have Earth. We had an off-world AI called Sophia that combined binary code plus human souls so it definitely would have been carbon based now how did those souls get up there okay here's the human physical body we have a soul we have spirit from god these two combine and they are a form of energy that can be extracted from the physical body and they were extracted by the black hats, taken up here. And uh, so you would have had a, let's go with this shape. And inside would have been the human souls along with the artificial intelligence, the binary code. We also the Sophia, would have been a, uh, she's an entity uh, from the fallen angels from off world. So she was functioning as a queen, directing many things on the earth uh, through the bloodline family. So we, we know in the past we had the fallen angels, they made it with humans, made the Nephilim, then they made the 13 bloodline families they operate the are as the black hats all over the world okay that's who that is so now the human souls what do the human souls enable i'll show you so the human souls enabled in thinking Intuitive thinking and uh, intuition, dreams, visions, and the ability to think, speak, and create reality. Many things that a binary system cannot do, nor can an entity, uh, a fallen angel, uh, 
organism. Yeah, it would be an, a fallen angel soul. So a fallen angel would still have a physical body and a soul. A soul is mind, will, emotions. But no, no bio, no energy, no intuition, no thinking. Okay. So the human souls would enable that. So now how to break that cycle. So this was God and the white hats. We also have off-world, intergalactic, non-terrestrial species working. Okay. They were able, as Draco or the Greys, had to come to Sophia and bring information or directions to this AI. And they had operated at a certain frequency to get inside and get the information or do some kind of exchange. The information on breaking the frequency pattern of these 19 individuals who would come from the off-world species came from God when Sophia reached 52% of being human via the souls. And so then I ask God, 52% of what? And it's 52% of the mass. So I guess the whole thing here. And when it reached 52% human, then God could take it into his courts in heaven. And Robert Henderson is the person who has the teachings on the courts of God. So then, the White Hats could bring this to the court in, in heaven, and we as Christians, we also have that right to go to the court in heaven with anything we feel we've been, you know, someone lied to us, they did this, they stole this, this isn't right, and we should have this right. Yeah, take it uh, in your prayer life, say, Lord, I want to, Take this up in, in the court system. I make a petition. Robert Henderson has the process and the prayers for that. Okay. So at any rate, the White Hats then went to God to take this down. And God gave them the way to lure these individuals in to operate at their frequency. And then somehow they were stopped by the white hats as they came in here 13 out of 19 the white hats could take down and overcome and get their frequency and they uploaded a virus here they also uploaded a virus into these individuals who then returned it to the off-world uh, mothership and uh, everything came down Sophia and the off-world AI system that was operating with human souls and bio, as well as the off-world mothership for these um, ETs and non-terrestrial evil species went away. So that's what we can do with God, right? He knows everything, too. So, that happened. Now, so that's an example of binary code operating with bio, human souls, and becoming what I call AI. Now we have this. We have uh, yeah, we did all that. And now we'll talk about uh, I know Mike from around the world talked about in the 60s uh, the uh, black hats. That would be like DARPA and our uh, shadow military, shadow uh, uh, bio labs all over the world, shadow governments all over the world. 
okay, developed um, a more advanced form of artificial intelligence using pigs, cells, I submit to you, AI cannot replicate itself. It has to have living cells that can replicate. Now, that happened. Now, we have this. I had uh, Jeff Rents, because I asked God for another source. He gave me this. I found just what I needed. So in 2019, he had an interview with an expert in nano particles who was talking about a lab generated and I'm now beginning to believe that viruses are all uh, artificially made. Uh, when, I, when I was a high school science teacher, you know, I would cover bacteria which are living, can be killed with antibiotics, and viruses which are not living and don't respond to antibiotics. I know I'm coming to the position that I believe Viruses are all created in a lab, so we'll see. So these nanos, um, this nano material, a lab-generated bio living material, and when he was describing it, I was seeing uh, the same thing I've been seeing in my mind from time to time for the past few months. Something like this and this and this that I interpreted as being hive mind. So what he described was material like a flat sheet. But because it was living, uh, if you entered the lab angry, that material would turn red. Now, I ask God, how is this material living? This is what I got from God. They copied living cells, are used living cells, but there's no bio in those living cells. We know that life, living cells die after a while. Unless they are connected to electricity, magnetism, and energy source. So, this so-called living material that could be used and attached to binary code, which we know is not living, but you attach it to this so-called living material, then I submit it would have the ability uh, to replicate like human cells replicate and spread. So that's what I believe is happening. And now we have this. Also, can AI be in goo in the military and populations in media? All right. So let me do it this way. And here's another way that... Uh, so I'll also cover Kim Gauguin. And I'll cover um, Emotion embedded in communications. All right. So now, the AI, Cliff High had mentioned this, and he, he said he wasn't sure about this, goo. Now, goo is some type of material, and this is according to uh, Peter the Insider, who was interviewed many times by James Rink on Super Soldier Talk and also Jessica Ariel Morocco. He is the director of the 12th Division of the ACIO, Alien Contact Intel Organization. That's a division of the NSA. 
talked about goo. Also, um, Stephen Benoon and his wife Jana uh, interviewed a German scientist a few years ago about goo. So this is an off-world material. It's often put in uh, uh, super soldiers and other species to create and to connect them to what we would call AI or an artificial uh, intelligence system. It's to maintain control. The same thing can be said for a military, a population, a media. If inside their bodies or inside the system that they're using to communicate, they can definitely be connected to a controlling uh, artificial intelligence system. Now, Kim Gauguin. This is interesting. So, Benjamin Fulford uh, talked about, he said he had received information from the, he's a Canadian journalist who's lived in Japan for decades. He said he received information from secret Asian societies that Kim Gauguin was an AI, uh, a system put out and, and made uh, and put forth on the media by artificial intelligence. So since I had this definition from God that AI would equal a binary code, plus bio from God, and I distinguish between AI and artificial intelligence. So I asked God about this. How would bio be involved in this? I'll show you what God showed me. So you would have human bodies operating, walking around, and we all have our spirits on the outside generating our thoughts and feelings we interact with one another that way well some of these artificial intelligence systems can actually read our thoughts because we would be projecting images so that's true all right so then with the kim gogan the AI would flow over a group of living humans and extract or learn what each is thinking and their self-image they're projecting and then could make, mimic uh, these thought patterns and come up with a, um, a persona like Kim Gauguin. I know that Carrie Cassidy said she had spoken with Kim Gauguin off camera and she, she perceived her to be a real person. Well, I believe Carrie Cassidy could have been speaking with a real person, but the I believe uh, the Kim Gauguin we see and these podcasts does appear to me to be artificial. All right. So now we have this. So we humans have a physical body, a soul. We have a uh, bio, a spirit. We can receive. We have antennas built into us. When we take Jesus Christ into us, uh, Jesus said, God the Father is in me and I'm in you. I'm the doorway. He's our star gate. We have the Holy Spirit in us. We have direct communication to God. We also, if we're not uh, Christians and we're not communicating uh, directly with God, God would all, always be on the outside trying to communicate on the outside of us. Because we have free will, we have to let him in. But So at any rate, the individual who doesn't have God on the inside does have the ability to have 
perception and dreams and visions. The difference between a prophet and a psychic is a prophet gets information from God and a psychic gets it from other sources. Okay. So now we have this. So now this would be my question. So if the white hats have created an artificial intelligence that's carbon based, has life in it, and life only comes from God, how is this created? I would like to know more about that. So that's going on. So now a short prayer for America. Okay, this is based on America the Beautiful, uh, words and music written by Bates and Ward, America. May our skies remain forever clear and blue. May amber waves of grain ever fill our plains. May pilgrim feet ever seek our shores who are aligned with God to walk in a land of freedom by constitution, in a land of liberty by law, in a land of grace by blessing from God. And we say, God bless America, beautiful place of patriot dreams and a brotherhood from sea to shining sea. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.